Hi, today I'm going to show you how to undertake discounted cash flow sensitivity analysis with an Excel data table. As we can see here, we have our high level financial summary, which we compute for our net present value. First, we're going to undertake a simple White row input cell data table calculation. As we can see, we reference the calculated net present value. Applying the weighted average cost of capital Remember this weighted average cost of capital cell which we reference in this data table drives the calculation for the net present value. This is important because otherwise this sensitivity analysis using data table will not function. As we can see here, our data table is working correctly. Our respective net present value values are working correctly. In the second example, we're going to create a, a second layer of complexity incorporating the corporate tax rate. Again, corporate tax rate drives our uh, cost of debt and also after tax cost of debt and also our cash at bank calculations. Hence it will function correctly in our data table as in the following. So firstly our row input is going to be our weighted average cost of capital and our y-axis, the column input is going to be our corporate tax rate. As we can see here our sensitivity analysis table is working correctly. We're now going to graph these two tables. Firstly, the simple one with the weighted average cost of capital using a simple line graph. formatting as in the following which we're going to present into an executive PowerPoint presentation.
ensuring that we in create a sharp looking intuitive graph with relevant labeling to illustrate how increasing weight average cost of capital will diminish our net present value as per the discounted cash flow example. As we can see here, we're going to just simply copy and paste into the PowerPoint. A second table graphing the corporate tax rate against the WAC. Again, achieving a better, slicker formatting of our graph, illustrating net present value versus corporate tax rate based on various weighted average cost of capital rates. Again, we want to make it intuitive. We want to make it easy for executives or other stakeholders to understand the sensitivity analysis that we've undertaken here for the company's discounted cash flow based on varying weighted average cost of capital rates and also corporate tax rate.
So there we have it. We can now copy and paste after we format our graph to illustrate how evidently a higher working at weighted average cost of capital with increased corporate tax rates will have a negative impact on our overall net present value for our corporation. We can now paste it into our PowerPoint presentation to illustrate the power of sensitivity analysis with a data table.